from nice to good. Let's unlock a thinking trap that can otherwise keep you stuck in people-pleasing, approval-seeking, too nice kinds of habits. And the trap is this, it's believing that the alternative to being a nice doormat is being selfish. So it feels like this. You've been this for a while, a nice doormat, and then you want to change, but the only other alternative that comes to your mind is being selfish. And if you're a kind and caring person, this doesn't fit, doesn't feel like you. It feels like it contradicts your values. So uh, it doesn't sit right with you and it doesn't feel like something you want to aspire to and you get stuck. And that's because this is a false choice. Because it's been an emotional issue for you, your brain has started to see things in just one dimension, a kind of tunnel vision. And that's what keeps you stuck. When we add in another dimension, then you'll see that there's another option that I think is going to fit you so much better. So let's unpack it. In thinking about how you can be with the world, you can be kind or unkind to others. And you can also be kind or unkind to yourself. And we can take that and make one of those two by two matrices. So what we've done is added in an extra dimension here. And it's really obvious that the worst place to be is here, what I call the nasty zone. That's when someone is being mean to other people, but they're also being mean to themselves as well. So like I'm being horrible and I'm beating myself up for being horrible and it's not a good place to be. Everybody's done this at some time, but we recognize that this is not, uh, not a healthy place. It's not a good place. It's not good for anybody. So if you're watching this video, chances are the next place you went to was here into what we call the nice doormat zone, where you're being kind to other people, great. But what I'd like to notice is it involves being unkind to yourself. There's a hidden cruelty in there that's not remarked upon because other people are just talking about what they see you do on the outside and how you help them and you're good and you're caring and you're helpful and they're commenting on all of that which hides this secret meanness and cruelty that you're imposing on yourself. Don't do that. So you've done that for a while and then you want to change, so you decide you're going to change. And you sometimes hear people say, uh, that's it, I've been um, putting myself out for other people for all my life. From now on, I'm going to look after number one. I'm going to put myself first. And they say that, don't they? As they move into this zone, which is the selfish zone, where you're being kind to yourself, but unkind to other people. So um, it's, and it can be, first of all, there's a barrier to getting there because if you're a caring person, it doesn't really sit with you very well. Um, and because it doesn't fit with your values and you feel quite uncomfortable, not really something that you want to aspire to. It's not inspiring and motivating. And the other thing is because it doesn't sit with uh, you right, then what you can find is that you really try and be it for a bit, but it doesn't stick. So you end up flipping back into being a nice doormat again. And then maybe you get really resentful and fed up and you end up here and you go here and here and here and here and here. And you're just going around getting more and more stuck. That's because it doesn't fit with your deeper values. And the other problem with this selfish zone is that sometimes people get too hard. They've 
had time as a nice doormat and then they decide they decide that they're going to change so then they become selfish and they become just too hard and they become like defensive and prickly and angry with the world and they're trying to like beat everybody else at life and they might get some payoffs from that but it's also quite a lonely isolated separate kind of place to be so also not that great what you'll notice is that if this is zero percent kindness nasty is zero percent kindness is unkind to others and unkind to yourself then nice doormat is 50 percent because it's kind to others but it's unkind to yourself and selfish is also 50 percent because it's kind to yourself but unkind to others which leads us with the last bit which is where you can find something that will probably sit with you much better which is the hidden option that you couldn't see before which is the option of being strong and kind so you're being kind to other people which is a good thing but you also have the strength to be able to protect and be kind to yourself so that involves assertiveness, courage, confidence, uh, setting boundaries, standing up for yourself, all those kinds of things. And there's a hidden uh, self-protection that's often not mentioned, which is standing up for yourself against yourself, against that mean part of you that sometimes is, sometimes is unkind to yourself. To be able to say you know what enough of beating me up today mean me today we're going to be more supportive uh, so that's another way in which you're being strong and standing up for yourself so as you look at these i think it's clear to see that this not a good option and whereas previously you might have seen these two nice dormant and selfish but they're just two out of four and actually that's not a great option as you've probably discovered and for the most part, that's not a great option either, being selfish because it's so uh, limited and isolating and defensive. Whereas this, being strong and kind, is something that most people feel is something they can get behind and still retain the identity and that core value of being a kind and caring person because now you're being doubly that because you're being kind to other people but you're also being kind to yourself.